from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, March the 31st, 2021. The official results of Israel's national elections held last week were presented to the country's president, Reuven Rivlin, at his residence in Jerusalem today. Rivlin tweeted later, I truly hope that the elected officials, representatives of the public, are able to hear the Israeli people's call for out-of-the-ordinary coalitions, collaborations across sectors, working for the good of all of Israel's citizens. Rivlin will meet with representatives of all the elected parties this coming Monday. The new Knesset members will be sworn into office on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, Rivlin will decide to whom he gives the mandate to form the next government. The U.S. State Department released its annual Global Human Rights Report with some changes to the previous administration's language when relating to Israel. For decades, the report's section on Israel was titled Israel and the Occupied Territories. Under President Trump, it was changed to read Israel, Golan Heights, the West Bank, and Gaza. Then, Golan Heights was dropped from the title when Trump recognized the Golan as part of Israel. This first report under the Biden administration released yesterday maintained the same title as the Trump administration, Israel, the West Bank, and Gaza, but does refer to the territories later, including East Jerusalem and the Golan, as occupied, with a note that the United States recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel in 2017 and Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights in 2019, adding that language in this report is not meant to convey a position on any final status issues to be negotiated between the parties to the conflict, including the specific boundaries of Israeli sovereignty in Jerusalem or the borders between Israel and any future Palestinian state. While well, a former Nazi guard deported from the United States to Germany will not stand trial. German prosecutors said the case against 95-year-old Friedrich Karl Berger has been closed for lack of evidence. The U.S. Justice Department expelled Berger last month for, they said, taking part in Nazi-sponsored acts of persecution while he served as an armed guard at the Noengama concentration camp system in 1945. A Holocaust memorial in Poland was desecrated. The European Jewish Congress reported that the monument built in tribute to the victims of the Czestochowa ghetto was vandalized with swastikas and other Nazi symbols, as well as with the names of two well-known Holocaust deniers. The Anti-Defamation League released its latest survey on anti-Semitism. It surveyed 503 Jewish American adults in January, 63% of whom said that they had either witnessed or experienced themselves some form of anti-Semitism in the last five years, an increase from 54% of those asked the same question last year. The ADL said the survey shows that anti-Semitism is still very much a part of Jewish Americans' lives. An Israeli company has the green light from Europe for its super quick coronavirus test. The Spectra Lit machine was given approval by the European Medical Devices Directive for a swab version of its test, which means it can begin to be used in the European Union. The device, which provides COVID results in 20 seconds, is already in place at 36 hospitals around the world in a pilot program. Its accuracy is said to be between 70 and 80 percent. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, March the 31st. At 7 o'clock, former CNN reporter Alan Chernoff describes the destruction of the Polish community of Tomaszow through the eyes of his mother and co-author Rina Margulies Chernoff. At 8, Dr. Micah Goodman talks about his book, Maimonides, and the book that changed Judaism with Rabbi Rick Jacobs and Rabbi Elliot Cosgrove. 
At 9, Mark Golub sits down with author Abigail Pogrebin on L'Chaim. At 10, Rabbi Eugene Wernick talks about the rabbinic revolution. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud with Micah Halpern. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, March the 31st, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.